Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. This question is asked a lot when we talk about Gmail. How we can create multiple email accounts on Gmail without using different phone numbers or recovery emails or whatsoever. In this case, I'll show you how you can create inside of your existing Gmail different email accounts. In this case, basically you don't need to have an external number or another number or whatsoever. Please follow me carefully because sometimes you get confused how exactly this method works. So first of all, you have to open your email or your Gmail account. Once you have opened your Gmail account, then you have to click over settings here at this gear here. And then once you have clicked here, you have to choose see all settings. And then from these labels or from these options over here, you have to choose accounts and import. So we scroll down till you find this option here, which says send mail us. So in this case here, we can add different email addresses. But here is the trick. In order to add other email addresses, if you have already email addresses that you have created separately, then you can easily add here. But how you can add from here other email addresses that you actually haven't created separately, but you are just creating right now. So here is the thing. My original email address is this one, learntechwith24 at gmail.com. So here it is, the email address that is the original one. Now, following the patterns or what Gmail allows, we can create inside of this, this kind of different email addresses. So first one is, for example, learntech with 8024. So the first part of the Gmail ID stays the same. And then we add plus and then we add whatever we want after that and then again at gmail.com so this is just an example so let me show you another example again we follow the same part here like it is here learn tech with 8024 which is the first part of the email of the original one and then after that you add whatever you want so let's say for example test at gmail.com and you go on and you create as many emails that you want with this same pattern you just add the plus and then you add after that whatever you want and then at gmail.com so this is the first method or the first option how you can create different gmail accounts by using this kind of method then the next method because this was the first method then we'll talk about the second method and for the second method, we use another pattern or another way. So now what we do, the first part of the ID of, of the email is learn tech with 8024. So I'm going to take this email, the original one again, and put it here. Now what we do inside of this part of the ID, we can put a dot wherever we want. And basically we have a different email address without creating or setting up from the scratch, but just inside of this Gmail account, of the existing Gmail account. So here it is, the second method, by just putting a dot inside the ID of the original email. So let's say now I just want to make it like this, learn.techwith8024 at gmail.com. So you follow the same idea, the same logic, and practically this is the second method how you can create different Gmail accounts inside existing Gmail account. And the third method is by changing the second part of the gmail.com. But how you do it, let me show you. So let me copy the first or the original email. I'm copying just the ID and then I write at googlemail.com. So practically, this is a different email address and then all these previous email addresses that you have already created, you change them by adding this googlemail.com and practically you have a different email address. Why you may need this kind of thing? First of all, when you want to share your email address with someone, you don't have to give to them the original email address, which is this one. This is the first thing. The second thing, if you want to subscribe at a certain website, again, you don't have to give 
to this website your original email address you give to them any one of this email address that we are just creating and the third thing you can actually send emails from this kind of emails so after we have added those emails there at settings then we can actually send emails from this kind of emails let's go through and let's take an example from each one of these methods and let's test them so for the first method i'm going to take this email so we come here and we click add another email address and then i write this gmail address and then i click next step so here it is this is the email address that i just created all right i'm gonna copy that email address again and i'm gonna go at my outlook email and then i'm just gonna write that email address and test plus i'm just saying this subject randomly and i'm just gonna send this email address and let's see we're gonna receive that to my original email address which actually is this one learntech with at gmail.com so here it is send and then let's go back to inbox and let's see if we're gonna receive that email so here it is i just received that email that i just sent right now and when you see here the email to is that email address that i just created right now but actually the original one is this one here learn tech with 8024gmail.com now let's go ahead and let's use the second email pattern or the second method how we created this email so here it is i'm gonna copy this one and we go back again at settings let's minimize this see all settings we go accounts and then add another email address and then i'm going to use this one learn tech with 80.24 gmail.com next step uh, you can already send an uh, t -t 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 it's already created yes it's already created all right good i'm gonna take them another email address that i haven't created all right i'm gonna take this one learn.tech with 80 gmail.com we go back again and add another and next step good so here it is it is showing there the second one that i just created learn.tech with 8024gmail.com we go again at the outlook we write that email and then i just gonna write a random test email and this method with is with a dot inside of the id so the same id but the dot inside of there so then we have another kind of email send and then we're gonna see how we're gonna receive at my gmail so here it is i just received also the email by using the second method learn.tech with 824 at gmail.com but actually i don't want to mention again the original email is this other one that we have created in the beginning now we go ahead and we use the third method and the third method was by using googlemail.com and not gmail as the domain so we copy that again and we go at settings and accounts and then add another email address and i'm going to write this one googlemail.com and then next step and let's give it a test let's go again at the outlook write two and test google mail here it is sent and let's see now all right let's go back again my gmail inbox and here it is i received this email and if you go at two this is the email address that is showing right here so good those were three different methods how you can create different gmail accounts inside of your existing email address or how you can create different gmail mail addresses by using the existing gmail and now let me show you that you can actually send emails also by using this different email that we just added over there so if we go here at the email that i want to send and if you go at from you will see all these options so you can pretend or you can add any kind of email that you want and for example you don't want to show the original email that you are using you just use this one for example learn tech with 824 plus learn tech at gmail.com and then you send an email to whoever you want for example learn tech with adiatlook.com and different gmail addresses i'm just adding a random subject and then i'm going to click on send 
so here it is i just received that email and the original email that is showing here is this one here that i have used to create and to send emails from my gmail account so basically that's all that i want to share with you guys today i hope this video will help you to achieve this kind of objectives or this kind of things that you want to achieve by using your gmail account and by surfing safe on the internet by hiding your gmail account from different spams or from different attackers that can be outside thanks for watching wish to you all the best thank you